Hey, welcome to a special edition of the show, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I've been seeing questions online, not questions necessarily, but more like debates on if the gold standard was still around, wouldn't be in quote-unquote debt and stuff of that nature. I kind of want to look into what uh, why we abandoned the gold. This is from Mental Floss, as you can see. Uh, dated uh, 2012. Anyway, so let's see. Some have called for return to the gold standard. What does the phrase actually mean and how would it affect the economy? What is the gold standard? It's a monetary system that directly links a currency value to that of gold. A country on the gold standard cannot increase the amount of money in circulation without also increasing its gold reserves. Because the gold uh, global gold supply grows only slowly, being on the gold standard would theoretically hold government overspending and inflation in check. No country currently backs its currency with gold, but many have in the past, including the U.S. For half a century, beginning in 1879, Americans could trade uh, in twenty dollars sixty-seven cents for an ounce of gold. Country effectively abandoned the gold standard in 1933, which is probably when the the uh, stock market fell down because everyone was in gold and all that stuff. Anyway, um, the uh, okay, 1933 and completely severe uh, severed the link between the dollar and gold in 1971. The U.S. has had a fiat money system, meaning the dollar's value is not linked to any specific asset. Why did the U.S. abandon the gold standard? To help combat the Great Depression. Faced with mounting unemployment and spiraling deflation in the early 1930s, the U.S. government found it could do little to stimulate the economy. To deter people from cashing in deposits and depleting the gold supply, the U.S. and other governments had to keep interest rates high, but that made it too expensive for people and businesses to borrow. So in 1933, uh, Franklin FDR cut the dollar ties with gold, allowing the government to pump money into the economy at lower interest rates. Most economists now agree 90% of the reason why the U.S. got out of the Depression was the break with gold, says, uh, it's going to be interesting, uh, Liaquat uh, Ahmed. Sorry if I got that name wrong. Uh, author of the book, Lords of Finance, the U.S. continued to uh, allow foreign governments to exchange dollars for gold until 71, when uh, Tricky Dicky uh, abruptly ended the practice to stop dollar flush foreigners from sapping U.S. gold reserves. Well, I mean, fiat is not, is not a new thing. Uh, the Song China, the, the Song China, the Song China, no, uh, the Song Dynasty, uh, pretty much invented the thing, uh, as far as printing the money or you know, using fiat currency as a way of exchange for all goods and services. Uh, because merchants who came in with gold were tired of carrying the gold around the town, so they exchanged it for currency so that they can sit there and. Do uh, uh do uh free free uh free exchanges using currency or fiat currency. Anyway, so let's see why is gold in the debate again? Libertarian Ron Paul again just back I think when he's thinking about running for president again may return to honest money, a key plank of his presidential run, and the idea took hold among Tea Party conservatives. Well, here's the problem. Now, if you go back to gold standard, you put the whole the whole monetary system in a complete and utter shock, and everything goes to hell. All because I'm not sure how many people actually own gold, but either way, those people are the very influential. I mean, either way, power does not uh, change hands in that regard. You have a better chance of changing hands as far as power in a fiat currency. Even barter, I don't see it being any different than having gold because it's based on what you want to trade and not what a, a currency that is taken out of, of circulation through taxes. Anyway, so let's see. 
uh, there's an outrage over the Federal Reserve's lose, a loose monetary policy since the financial crisis. They argue that the U.S. debt now exceeds $16 trillion because the government has become too cavalier about borrowing and printing money. Printing money, again, uh, just goes back to this, this is really before MMT really took hold as far as a possible replacement for, well, not replacement, excuse me. Well, a replacement in education of the monetary uh, system. Uh, or anyway, uh, I was that somewhere. <laughs> um, anyway, so, so when the Fed prints money, gold standard, advanced uh, advocates say it achievements the value of dollar promotes inflation and effectively steals money from the citizens. Actually, interest rates do that because interest rates make loans and other things uh, cost more. Is I think it was earlier in the same in in, in the same um, article I just read. If cost of borrowing goes up, the cost of selling merch goes up. Uh, calls for creation of commission to investigate setting a fixed value for the dollar. Uh, the gold standard forces the U.S. to live within its means. The government is not a household. I have to live be. I had to live within my means. You had to live within your means. A federal government is not there for financial gains. It's there to govern and support its citizens, whether it be natural or non. Let's see. What is the downside? A fixed link between the dollar and gold would make the Fed powerless to fight recession or put the brakes on any overheated heating economy. They can't really do that now in the first place. If you like the euro and how, it, how it's been working, you should love the gold standard, says the economist Barry Aitching Green. I'm not sure. Anyway, to make a long story short, and you can go to Mental Floss article this right here to, to find out more about why we abandoned the gold standard. And I was going to maybe go to this and see. Now this would be okay. The cause of decline. I pretty much already covered that in in the Mental Floss one. So you see, yeah, the, the fundamental cause of the Great Depression in the United States was the decline in spending. Sometimes referred to aggregate demand, which led to a decline in production as manufacturers and, ma and merchandisers noticed an unintended rise in inventories. Let's see. Yeah, there's a decline in government spending. Like right now, it's supply shock, supply chain, stuff of that nature. Anyway, let's see. Nope. Okay, so you yeah, already went through that. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, gold bar is great. You still get a return on your investment, but don't put the country at fault because you want to make more money. <sighs> anyway, that's all I got to say for the moment. It's time for now.